Hello there YouTube, my name is Minecraft Video Guys and today I'm going to be doing a map walkthrough. This map is called Chunk Survival. You bait it is a I believe it's kind of a spin-off of Skyblock because you spawn on this little platform up here and if you look below you can see that well uh you're on a chunk, you're on a single chunk and there's all down here. Don't know if you can, I think that might be bedrock uh, but you can see that this is the fact a survival map you've got to uh, do a few things you know got to collect this tree and first off we're gonna see what's in this chest uh oh only one water block how you make another um, I believe that's because one of the challenges is to make a unlimited water spawner so um, don't need to do anything else really um, alright I'm just gonna make a design for a uh, water spawner, uh, sorry, cobblestone generator, and I'm going to start mining some cobblestone. Uh, so all you need to do is make a. <coughs> if you're thinking of playing this map, um, I will include a link for it down in the description. And I also believe that no one else has posted a video of this, so I am doing this with the creator, who I will be messaging shortly. Um, I will be posting the map in the description and. You guys, if you guys like the look of this in this video, you can check it out. So, to make a cobblestone generator, you have to place a block of ice here on a one block, and then place it down to two blocks, and then you put the lava in here, and break the ice. And then, when you, ooh, when you break the dirt, it'll create cobblestone. Now, I believe that actually, this is broken, probably because I need to run it through mod loader, so I'm just going to switch to... Uh, normal texture pack, so I'll just be right back. Right, so uh, I'm back. I'm now playing default just because the water was a bit broken. So, uh, yeah, I probably need to run the texture pack through... Oh, I can't remember the name of the program, but the one that fixes it, so lava and water look okay. So, first thing I'm going to do... I am going to dig up some dirt to expand the island outwards so I can get to this tree and collect your say uh set there uh, safely collect all the uh wood and saplings because they're a bit scarce at the moment. So I'm just gonna place a few pieces of dirt out. Not many, just a few. Um, uh, I believe that sh I'll dig up a few bit more, a few more, just to be safe. Just want to, just want to collect all the saplings. So I'm just going to build that there. Right now we're going to collect this. Or should I remove all the leaves off? I'll remove all the leaves off. Hopefully we can get a uh, apple as well. If you guys didn't know that, then in 1.1 you oh. Oh, that's good. We got two. That's right. Um, in 1.1, 1 .1, uh, trees now drop apples when you uh, when you break the leaves or the leaves disappear. So if you didn't know that, then that's why you may have found apples. Uh, but in this series, I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, I probably won't complete all the challenges just because uh, I'm a student and there's a lot of challenges. Also, this is just a, a random video out of the blue, just because I was scrolling through the Minecraft forum and I saw this guy who had commented on another post, so I was interested in the map. So, uh, map creator, I don't know your name, I'm sorry, but I like the idea of this, I like the look of the map so far, and I hope it's good. So, I'm guessing the main goal is you have to, well actually I think I read that that, uh, that over there, I wish I had Optifine, and I could zoom in, that over there is <coughs> the ultimate ultimate challenge. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm kind of so I guess we can sort of hope to go over there. Uh, maybe I thought maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll just make the purpose of the series to get over there. Probably a probably a few hundred blocks. Hmm, definitely. I'll probably have to get about sort of probably a whole inventory of that stuff actually. But I mean, that's not what we're gonna, that's not what we're going to be doing today. Um, no need to explain what I'm doing. This is isn't a, this isn't a let's play. This is just a map 
playthrough, so you guys should, if you guys are looking at this, you guys probably know already how to play Minecraft already, so I'm wondering where to put this actually. Just plonk it there, you can maybe collect it. So we'll just create a basic wooden pick for now, and I should replant a tree so I can get a it to grow oh. again. And I'll replant, sorry, just some minor lag spike. Replant a few so I can get some wood growing. Um, I noticed there's snow here. I wonder if this is a crossover into a snow biome where he just placed it. I would like to. I would like to collect it though as well. Get a shovel and get a shovel and collect it. I'll put it back in so we can have one safe just in case um, five trees fail. <laughs> right. So now I'm just going to mine up some. Oh, actually, I should have done this different. I'll mine. I'll mine some cobblestone at first and then uh, do is different because actually it's more efficient to do it in the other idea I have in my head. Now this isn't a very efficient way of getting cobblestone, you will lose a lot of it, probably 50% of it. It's just not very efficient. Um, however, it will work and it will give you, and if you spend a while at this, you can get a, a decent amount of cobblestone. So, oh, 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 blimey, sorry. I'm just, uh, I don't want to spend too long mining, because I just want to Right, so, all I need to do is this, really. Right, I'll get a few more bits. I just want to raise it up so I'm mining it from, if I have, I want to have the lava on this level and then the water on this level so I can mine it from the side. It's just annoying to have to go down here every single time. So, um, I'll fill in the bottom with the, I won't bother getting that with cobblestone. Um... That should be enough. So, just get this. Do the water first. So I just need to do that. Then put it back. And then get this. Right, that should that should be it. That should be all it takes. Oh, I lost the dirt. Damn it. Should have seen that coming. Um, put this away too. So yeah, this is a... Uh, a survival map. Um, actually, I wonder if I can just go ahead and look at the challenges. If if uh, if if it messes up my recording, I'll edit it in at the end. So I'm just going to go take a look at them right now. Right. The challenges here are. In fact, I look at the map maker's name. The map maker's map maker's name is uh, Redstone Miner, I believe, or or mine. No, Minecraft to go. Sorry. Uh, that's a subtitle thing, but this the, the map creator's name is Minecraft to go. I'll be including a link of it in the description. I don't I haven't by the way I haven't been keeping time with this video so I don't know how long it ends. It may be a two part episode or what. But um I'm gonna go do the mushrooms now. And I guess by the I, I can get bones easily by just waiting for skeletons, but I guess it just means you have to put bone meal on grass to get the long grass, to get the wheat, which shouldn't be a problem. Now, I'm kind of scared about the mushrooms, because they can be finicky sometimes. So we'll just place those there, away from it. In fact, I'm going to place it one block up. So sort of there. I'm going to do the red one first. Right, and go. Ah, oh, oh, wow, that was a tall one. Um, I didn't intend on it being that tall. Oh blimey, that's tall. I can't, I can't reach it. Um, but I, I really didn't expect that. I thought it was going to fail. I thought I was going to lose a bone mail. I was <laughs> kind of worried. Oh blimey. Um, but yeah, this is the best way to get. In fact, mushrooms are now the most in a most efficient way of getting food, in my opinion. Oh oh, oh god. Okay, I, I just want to get some mushrooms just so I have food. Um, but this is the most efficient way to get food because you just need to get one red mushroom, then you can get as many as you want. I mean, a, a mushroom, a red mushroom can drop up to, I think, anywhere near 20 mushrooms. Which then again, you just you can use 19 for stew or or to the nearest. Uh, what? Never. I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, you just use. I mean, oh, that's that. That's gonna get my OCD. Um, see, I placed one mushroom, and now I have... I probably lost a few over the edge as well, and now I have 15. 
So I'm going to go put one in the chest. Um, actually, I'm just going to put them all in the chest. Now I'm going to do it. The, oh, I should have. I didn't think this through. I should have done the same with. Um, oh, it's actually setting to night. I wonder if I can. I probably can make. A, I can make a bed actually because they've provided twelve string, which is good. I I I, I like that. That's good. I like that Minecraft to go. Um, most maps just expect you to. Well, on on Skyblock, I don't think you could ever get a bed. I believe that I, I, I don't remember that. I don't know how you can spawn animals yourself without an egg, which I know was introduced into Four Pillar, but and um and again, I'm just doing the same with the the brown mushroom, which I did with the oh sorry, lag spike. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the bed. Um, that's a good idea. I like that. <coughs> Come on, there we go. And I can see, I've already got six mushrooms in my inv inventory, and I can see that I dropped absolutely loads. So, we're going to have food for a long time, and we're never going to have to jump over the edge. I, 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 and I don't promise that I won't fall, because I will. Because I know I will. Oh, I went went far. Um, but now I'm going to create some bowls, wooden bowls. To do that, you draw out the shape of a... I believe that's the shape of a bucket with iron. I'm going to make... 12. And to make mushroom stew, you simply get uh, red mushrooms... Uh, red mushrooms and brown mushrooms, even though they're both called mushrooms. And you get the bowl. You place... Oh, you place mushrooms... In fact, I'm not going to do it with all of that, actually. You place uh, one mushroom above it. Well, actually, I think you could do it to the side as well. I'm not sure. Let me let me try. Yep, you, I think you can place it anywhere on crafting square, but as long as both mushrooms are in the crafting square, you can create mushrooms too. And I believe that heals four little chicken bits, like these right here. And you can do that. I'll just do it with a, a three more. So, a fact, I'm not sure if it will work that way, actually, but... No, it doesn't. Um, the this, the mushrooms have to be in the same place, but they can be anywhere in the crafting square. But on the wiki, it just says that, just probably because that's simple. And they don't stack either, so... In fact, I don't think that... No, they don't stack. So now we've got food. So, uh... We don't have to worry about that. And I think for the first night, I'm actually going to sleep. So, I'm going to get three wooden planks. And to make wool from string... You simply place four bits of string in a crafting square like this, and it comes out to wool. So you get a bit of wool, and then you can do it twice, and you get three wool. And then, of course, you make the bed. And then, I'm going to do this thing just in case mobs spawn, which I may not have enough of. In fact, you know what, I've got plenty of that around me. I may included flowers, I guess you have to... In fact, there's not even a challenge to die, so... And you can get as many flowers as you want by the by the bone meal. So I don't know why that was included, but you know your map. Um, so to do this little trick to make sure, in fact, what am I doing? You can't even be attacked by mobs in the night. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just going to sleep the first night because it's the first night. I'm just worried a bit. So yeah, I'm just going to sleep the night. And in fact, I'm going to end off the video here. I don't know how long this video has been. I may edit out the bit where... Okay, I'm going to say this now. I'm going to edit out the bit where you, where I talked about the challenges and I'm going to put them in the description. In fact, no, I'm just going to edit out the challenges overall. I mean, I'll do it in another episode where I know what the timing is. But anyway, um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to like the video, please do. Uh, comment on anything you may want me to do. I am, I try to do mod reviews, but I'm I'm so bad at doing... I'm so bad at... Re I like... What's the word? But putting mods into the jar, I just can't seem to do it, my Minecraft always doesn't load. Um, but if you want me to look at a mod, I will try. If you want me to look at a map, I will also look at a map. And uh, Minecraft to go, I'm going to be sending you this uh, video link and a message shortly, so uh, look forward to that. And uh, I'll see you later.